It's a lot of scientific evidence now over the last few years. Uh, let's take sauna bathing. Saunas. Uh, being hot actually stimulates the production of a protein called HSF, heat shock factor, and it helps proteins fold correctly. And if you turn on HSF genes in animals, they live longer, worms and flies and mice. And so that seems to be very helpful. So you don't have to go to a gym or have a sauna at home. You can just turn up the temperature way high in your, in your uh, shower, which is what I do, make it nice and steamy, as hot as you can go. And that, I think, is going to help. Um, cold therapy, again, it's hard to find these cryotherapy places all around America. Uh, you can do cryotherapy in your shower if you want or have a bath. Um, you can even throw ice cubes in your bathtub if you want. That's pretty cheap if you want to do that. Um, and so how does cold therapy work? Well, we think what's going on is it's activating the browning of white fat, which we have on our backs. And that actually is part of the response to cold because brown fat makes energy. The way brown fat makes energy is that the mitochondria that are in those, thousands of them per cell in those brown cells, brown fat cells, they actually... They do what's called mitochondrial uncoupling. They, they don't let the mitochondria produce as many free radicals. So you get less free radicals. But also they produce chemicals, little proteins that are secreted into the bloodstream that protect the body from metabolic dysfunction and maybe aging. We don't know for sure. You, you have cold therapy. You are protected against metabolic dysfunction or eventually type 2 diabetes. Um, and so both those I think are good to do. And, and you'll certainly feel better.